America's champion, Nonito the Filipino Flash. Oh, yeah! Welcome to In This Corner TV.com, sponsored by Tecate Cerveza Con Caracter. I'm Smitty. We're at Mandalay Bay where you see the, uh, well, the, the crews are going to get off early tonight because Nonito Donaire made short work of Fernando Montiel. A second round, one punch, devastating left hook did Montiel in. After the uh, fight, we caught up with the best bantamweight on the planet. Smitty with the Filipino Flash. Talk about Flash. This one was quick. <laughs> you know what? Um, I just figured it out. Once I figure a guy out, it's over. You know, uh, I believe in my power. I have a lot of respect for Fernando Montiel, and I hope he's doing well. But the moment I figured him out in the second round, it was it. You looked more explosive tonight than I've, than I've ever seen you. I, I don't know what what else you're doing in your training. Obviously, your age, you're getting stronger. It's Victor Conti. Well, good. <laughs> hey, you know what? Whatever it is, it's working. You went out there. You clearly, I could see, you wanted a, a knockout. That's what I wanted. You know, I wanted an exciting fight. Uh, it was a big fight, and I wanted it for everybody. Um, I wanted it for myself to push myself, to push myself uh, more, uh, harder, and and, uh, and and stronger in, in you know in training. And uh, I just I was just confident going in that ring. You know, and he didn't appear confident. He was trying to sit on the outside and trying to fence with you a little bit, which is a mistake against Nonito Denier. You landed right hands early, but I could see it looked to me like in the second round you were trying to set up that left hook. That's that was it. I mean, I I took some punches to see what, how his power, but you know his power didn't really bother me at all. Um, as long as my hand was up, I knew where his punches was gonna go, and that's what I did. I just blocked it, see where it was gonna be, and once once I figured out that that this is how he does is when every time he punches, his body was gonna be in this position, and and his reaction after each punch, and when I knew that that the reaction was very slow to my punches, every time he hit me, I just boom because I know he was going to be there. Talk to Roy Jones yesterday, and he was talking about he's become a big fan of yours, and when he was at his best, he said he could see and feel everything, and it seems like you have that same type of radar going on. He was one of my mentors growing up. Growing up, I look up Roy Jones, you know. I never forgot, so y'all must have forgot. <laughs> I never forgot, you know. Roy Jones was the, the guy that You're I look up. You're not going to rap to me now. No, I, I'm not going to rap. <laughs> I'm a singer, you know. I'm a lover, you know. <laughs> no, actually, um, you know, Roy Jones was... was, was one of my mentor in terms of just I want to be I want to see everything and, and that made me be uh, like my reflex was, was was like that I wanted to be like that and then I created it as as I went you know from some Sergey Leonard to Arguello to Roy Jones you know to De La Hoya and, and and to trade that I mean all those I put them and combined them and and you know they're just one of those guys that made me better that left hook with Darchinian was great I think this one was even better because I thought it was harder. It was harder. Actually, with Darchinian, it was just a quick counter. This one, I, I sat on this one. That's why I never thought he was going to get up. That's why when he got up, it was over. Should they have, should they have allowed the fight they to continue? They stopped it. I mean, he, they, he was out. Yeah. He was out. I mean, you know, but that's the referee's choice, you know. But um, he's a champion, so you got to give it up. I mean, he got up. I never thought that he was going to get up from that punch, but I sat on that punch, and I believe that was the hardest punch I've ever threw in my life. I had you ranked number four going into this fight. What the hell do I do with you now? What, do I put you next to that uh, other Filipino named Manny Pack? Yeah, my buddy. That's up to you guys. You know, I believe that I'm top ten pound for pound now, and, and uh, I believe in my ability now. You know. What's next for you? Anybody. I want to be undisputed champion, um, or go up to 122. I've got you a gig at the MGM on March the 19th. You're singing on the undercard of the Bon Jovi show. That's so it. can you give it a little That's Bon Jovi? It. It's my life. It's now or never. I ain't going to live forever. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, I champ. I be louder, actually, but that's, Great. that's for me and you, Smitty. Great you know. performance, buddy. Thank Good to see you. All right. Much.